They're not big. They're not big enough. <laughs> we need them bigger. Run. Initiate the virus. What up, YouTube? So, since we are stuck at home, for the most part, um, I am working on some projects around the house. And one of them is we want an over-the-stove microwave. And the wife found a free one online. It's only a couple years old, still 100% functioning, and uh, we're going to go get it. Virus conveyor. And uh, free is awesome. So kind of excited. Going to go get that and then uh, see if we get it in today. I don't know. I probably need Justin over here. I haven't heard from him, so hopefully he's feeling better. Um, but yeah, that's all I got right this second. And Stu's out working. Um, again, I haven't heard from Justin. And that's all I got. But luckily, I still have my fifth place trophy. What's up, YouTubes? We are braving the Walmart on the worst day of the week to go shopping Saturday. We have the wife out in public. She's feeling a lot better. We're doing good. And uh, yeah, just getting some fresh fruits and berries. Walmart's got some prices down, so uh, we can get some veggies, some berries, some fruits, and see what else we can uh, get our hands on. See what we got. That's a virus. Always looks for the big ones. Mainly because they're 58 cents each. <laughs> Venus virus, eh? They're big enough. They're not big. They're not big enough. <laughs> we need them bigger. You think it's a virus? Virus bacteria. Oh god, I love big cucumbers. <laughs> a virus. Virus ineffective. Disengage. I gotta get my free stuff. Would you like a free oh. Tide Pods Oxy sample? For a powerful, clean, made easy. So loud. Use the Walmart app to scan this code. Try Tide Pods for a powerful, clean, made easy. Tide Pods Oxy is the number one stain and odor fighter. Enjoy your sample. Boom. Yeah, take some home today. Everything for your holiday needs in March. Unless I'm missing another holiday. What is Mexican cream? Does anybody know? Jones, what is this this virus that you're talking about? The virus that touched the throat. Alright, YouTube, so. Oh, sorry, ma'am. No, you're fine. Um braving the Walmart we're looking for food and uh, so part of what we found out while the wife was in the hospital is that she has diabetes so type 2 so it's new for us we're learning what you can and can't eat what to get uh, she's a not a picky eater but like certain things so we're trying to go through the list of what we find online. If anybody has tips, tricks, or something they recommend, please let me know or email me the recipe or a website that works great for you. And uh, I would really appreciate it as uh, we try to navigate what to do now. Um, so yeah. A virus? Run. Hey YouTubes! No shopping trip is ever complete without a DG run. I forget what we needed here, but we're here anyways, because that's what I do. Plus there's 5 off 25, so we're gonna go see what we can find. Release the virus? Now! There we go, we got some paper towels, toilet paper, disinfectant spray, and wipes. They do have a limit of three on it. And I'm going to try and find the alcohol, which is always up by like the nail polish type area in beauty, so. What virus thing? The virus thing that you guys said we were going to infect all our friends on Facebook or whatever. 
But while I'm here, we also need to check clearance. March 28th, I believe, this Saturday is the next clearance event. We'll see if they still have it based on what's going on, but still prepping. Alright YouTubes, going to pick up Stu, um, we're going to go find some meat, because a lot of the stores seem to be out of meat, but uh, we're going to hit up the butcher blocks, see if they still have some good meat and some good prices. Uh, also, Stu coming along, I promised him I would disinfect, so we, uh, we're going to spray down the van, door handles, steering wheels, everything, and now we're off. He gets everybody everywhere. YouTubes, I found Stu. Hello. You're disinfected. Yeah. We need some meat and some man, not man meat. We need regular meat to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, no, not that. <laughs> not that. And uh, so we decided, as opposed to trying to hit the grocery stores and everything where everyone's at, we're gonna hit the uh, butcher block slash deli type place. Yeah. Uh, we have 20 minutes till they kick us out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but we're gonna go from there and then uh, then we have to run around to it. We're gonna hit up a bunch of uh, DGs I still need alcohol and aloe. We're just gonna go there and buy bologna, the cheap bologna. What's right. the cheapest, What's stuff, the cheapest you stuff you have that tastes horrible? He's like, you have something that has a lot of salt so it could stick. Do you have any eyeballs? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so Stu did not do his proper investigatory research. Well, actually, it's not something you can usually find on Google. No, Google. He, he decided to close at four today and he'll open up on Monday. So uh, and I don't think we have enough time to get to the other butcher block, which is out near where I live. Yeah. So, we're Here's not gonna Lucky's. go. Lucky's ain't too far. The grocery store. Why would we go to Lucky's for meat? We're not. Right? Well, they have meat, oh. but it's a grocery store. Oh, it's a grocery store. Yeah. And then, uh, so they have meat. They have that. They have that bar too. Oh, they have a bar. There's yes. a last open bar in Ohio. <laughs> yeah. YouTube's Stu's making me drive to the ghetto. We're <laughs> yeah. so east of Wooster. There's boarded up windows, hobos. Hobos. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, Look at, oh my god, there's Sapelli's. It's a train where random hobos get off. It like, is. Like this guy picked up a penny on Oh the my gosh, it's like being at a rest stop <laughs> in Kentucky. I don't even know what's happening right now. Let's get on to the right. Oh god, there's a crack addict walking it's, his labradoodle. Uh, car just turned, that's at the parking lot. Oh, this looks safe. But look at this. That what is happening? does not look ghetto. Look at those. No, that's why they're empty though. No one moved into them. They're brand new. <laughs> There's people limping in the parking lot. <laughs> and passing in front. There's right there. I, I don't know what's happening. Virus. This but is, there's hipsters too. This is why we stay west. See, that's a hipster lady right there. West of Wooster. West of Wooster. Look at this There's kid. There's a hipster. He's a hipster. He he brought his typewriter to the coffee shop. <laughs> He's so hipster. <laughs> Stu, this is the worst place in the world. <laughs> Look at they even talk about bringing double if you bring a dime bag. You have to bring your own bags for your weed. It says. <laughs> All right. If I get shot, it's been nice knowing you, YouTubes. Only YouTubes. Bar <laughs> Last bar in Ohio. In a grocery store. <laughs> and we're drinking. With no bar stools. With no bar stools, because we can't congregate, but we can loiter awkwardly in a corner. <laughs> so it may feel like the end of the world with no penny list, but it's not. It's okay. But you know what? We're I shrunk. It's too shrunk. It's okay. <laughs> These things happen, but we're still going to look for some penny items. Why not? I have the list from the last year. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put out the list for the last year. Of You're items. always putting out. I always put it out. That's what I tell I roll. <laughs> People love it when I put out. <laughs> it's interactive, fun for cats and small dogs. Most dogs would eat that. It doesn't look like safe and there's something inside. Of it. Nice stew. <laughs> nice. It's the noise. Noise. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. If you say that, you are no longer my friend. This is what happens. I've defriended Stu and Justin about seven times. 
Tim's the one that says it. Yeah, Tim. Tim, we need to talk about noise. We're gonna have Tim on a video one time. Yeah, actually, you're gonna meet Tim soon because now that he is out of work, well, not out of work, he's at home, so <laughs> yeah. not having to go into the office, but we're gonna find some time to bring Tim along. You guys will like Tim, I promise. <laughs> what up, YouTubes? We were gonna hit another DG, but uh, mm -hmm. since they close an hour early, uh, that's in seven minutes. So <laughs> I never like to be that guy. And we are heading into the Mart of Drug, which is directly next door. Oh, look, I found paper towels. Oh, there they are. They're Run running. inside. Oh, and bounce off. We'll That's be entertained. A cart. <laughs> Somebody actually returned the paper towels. They are running out of ginger ale everywhere, which I don't understand. Ginger ales are good for upset stomachs. Oh, are they? But I don't think it, that has anything to do, do with corona. Do with corona, right. Yeah. Oh, look, they have percent off wine purchase. But it looks like it says zero percent. It's like, we're at the state minimum. Oh, let's buy six bottles. <laughs> Pewter virus. YouTubes. We're wandering, looking through the Mart of Drug. Very, very random find. Here, right next to the bounce and where the chlorox disinfecting wipes were. And uh, yeah, and burn relief gel. I'm gonna do some research, make sure this is the same as the aloe vera gel, but it, the number one ingredient is aloe vera. So I'm assuming it is, we'll find out. <laughs> Where's the virus? All right, YouTube. So it's the uh, first time we've never had anywhere to go. Everything's closed. And this Walmart closes at 8.30, they said. So, yeah. Just weird, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really airy. Nobody's really on the road. Nowhere to go, nowhere to... Does this guy like work here or is just like, I got to He's wearing his uh, cable salesman. <laughs> yeah, <on>. that's. 20% <laughs> off groceries, 100% awesome. <laughs> Maybe. We found the last store that's open till 10. <laughs> so we're gonna go here and see what we can find. It smells like that hipster store again. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> is everyone using the same. Uh... It's already. I don't ever think I've been in a grocery store with nobody, even in the middle of the night. Yeah. It is empty. It's alright though. Stu and I are gonna wander around, have some shenanigans, see what else happens, and make sure you stick around. So we've filmed a lot. I already had like six minutes of video earlier with the wife that you probably just watched at this point. And we filmed so much, this may be two videos total. You can't put the other video on YouTube either, the one with you and your wife. No, I can't put that video up. <laughs> but there was one of us at Walmart. I don't know if I can film that either. <laughs> Oh, luckily we found this section. <laughs> what kind of wine is this? Hey, can you pick me up some F? Yeah. No, oh, it doesn't sound like high quality to me. <laughs> I need some B. I prefer B. Or uh, what is it? S for satisfactory. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys. Ohio has a thing like anything over 42 proof, you have to buy in a liquor store. So the Giant Eagle put liquor stores in their grocery stores, but they're closed. They're state stores, they're called. All right. We're going to find some adult beverages and then uh, we're going to keep wandering. All right, I'm trying to decide between seltzer water or Parrot Bay. Oh, Stu just got scared. He found, uh, he found Corona at the grocery store. It's such a bad joke, but <laughs> we're trying to do something amusing to keep ourselves having fun. What's gumball head? Dum dum head. I don't know. I don't know what I'm in the mood for, yo. The beef over the chicken, right. personally. I'm surviving. <laughs> and now you need your sauerkraut, right? We do need sauerkraut. We do need because some more that sauerkraut. Has the longest shelf life. <laughs> there you go, 69 cents for a can. <laughs> it's a giant eagle kind? Yeah. Oh no, wait, this one's 59 cents too. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Or $1.29 for the big one. 
I already got Ooh, so much decisions. Crowd. Oh, do you? I, I like the crowd though that you know you get. That's not this. Yeah, not in the. <laughs> do you can. not want to get the can? No. No, okay, we're not getting the can. <laughs> yeah. Stu was all excited and then I turned like it the down. I like the bags of sauerkraut. YouTube, tell me down below. Do you say ramen or ramen? Spell <laughs> it out how you say it. <laughs> R. <-A> <laughs> we were uh, we were looking for meat, and we missed the giant eight-foot sign over top that said meat. Looking for some meat sticks. I need some beef. I need a berry. I'm like I'm good. Yeah, Stu and I thought I had to make sure not to get a cart this time. <laughs> All right, YouTubes, I found some flip top bottles, pump spray bottles, or just pump oh, lotion Josh, bottles. What, what'd you need? What do you got? I was, oh my, lifesaver. Whew, I was worried, dude. I didn't know what we were gonna do tonight. <laughs> I think they're planning a virus. A virus. Sometimes you can find coupons for Bosch and Lom for this. I wonder if you could find it. I don't know if the grocery store, I think they have Cuba. Do they have the digital, no, like, ones? digital ones? Like, can we just like go on our phone and look it up? No, no, it's not Dollar General. Guys, this don't work. <laughs> I got rigging in my ears. Believe me, that won't work. <laughs> All it is is a multivitamin. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey, Stu. Are you fit, bro? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need an eye patch. Dude, we should totally start wearing eye patches. Ooh, nitro cold brew coffee. I can get down with that. So YouTube, Stu and I were discussing with the stores closing early. I guess I'm confused by it. So I understand having time in a store to clean it, right? To clean it down, wipe things down, wipe down the doors, cash registers, all that stuff. Which they should be doing throughout the day anyways, not just at night. But... I would think being open later hours would make more sense so no, not everybody would be rushing into the store during the few hours they're open. Meaning there's more people at once in a store than there normally would be. Again, this is just the way my brain works. If it really is to just keep people apart so they're not together the possibility of 24 hours people coming in, but it's the same thing because people will run in during the day. So is it, do you know, like, is it just to be able to clean it and wipe it down or is it just the government mandate keeping things closed more because to me it seems like it would make less sense where you have more people in a confined area than you normally would at a certain specific time or maybe or, they're slowly trying to get you into a curfew a curfew like, to keep everybody in yeah well i mean all the main places are already closed so there's nowhere to go at night anyways True. it's basically walmart or gas stations and walmart closed at 8 30. The, the grocery store is 10 p.m yeah so a curfew is fine, because nothing's open anyways. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like We just want to cruise, dude. Right. You can't stop the School of Rock. Is that place affected? The School of Rock. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, listen, I'm not against it. Well, I am a little bit, because I like to film, right? And usually there's only a few stores we can go to late at night because of our schedules. But like I just told Stu, we're going to be restricted to just recording in gas stations. <laughs> can we? Oh, how late does the uh, rapid go? On the train. <laughs> oh, we could get on the rapid. <laughs> Although it won't like Tower City's a mall. I think Tower City's closed. True, yeah. So that's so the rapid stop. here goes to Tower City. The main stop is Tower City where there there's a movie theater, it's the mall, but it's also the cut through to get to the stadiums, but there'd be no reason to have it open if you can't not all that other stuff's closed. Right, exactly. So again, I'm not against it. I understand that like restricting hours, keeping people at home, but people still need to go out and get stuff. It just seems like it's having the opposite effect to me. Like, we went to Walmart today, it was crazy, which it's, it's Saturday. I get it. You know, there's people that have to work during the week still that can't get out. But what if you work in the retail environment? When are you going shopping? Usually it'd be after your shift is over, right? True, yeah. So, I don't know. I just worry about the concern of the concept of thinking. Sorry to go on a long, random tangent. Amazon, dude. Yeah. Just order it online, get it shipped to you. Like we did. Oh, actually, like the wife loves the the cheese powder for the popcorn. Amazon. Oh, yeah, I have to check out the cheese powder, but uh, the popcorn's good, though. 
popcorn. Oh, it is. Well, and side note, I found out popcorn's great for diabetics. Is it really? Yeah, it's actually good for you. It's as long as you don't put sugar in. Well, you don't want sugar on it, right? But a little salt's not going to hurt you. Like a little, she doesn't put much on. She puts yeah. salt and sprinkles a little of that cheese powder on, and that's it. I put a uh, cayenne powder. Just I a do little bit of it. Not a little lot. cayenne. See, I do. Uh, I'm a big salt guy on my popcorn, but I love butter flavor better. So I'll do like two tablespoons of butter. I do a cup of popcorn, two tablespoons of butter, and uh, Himalayan sea salt. Ooh. Now the other way I make it is with. Parmesan cheese sprinkled on and pepper. Sounds weird, but it's delicious. Just like the world's greatest burger is a burger patty. At McDonald's. No, <laughs> with, you know, thick, sharp cheddar cheese and you're gonna think it's gross until you try it, don't knock it, peanut butter. Wow, I never had that. And it's before you put the cheese on. So just as the burger's cooked, you put a layer of peanut butter on it. The flavor from the peanut butter gets into the burger. So it gives it that nutty flavor. Yeah. And then you put the cheese on top, it's so good. And I'm not saying like you smear it on your bun instead of mayonnaise, right? Like it needs to be on the burger, melted in, and that's it. All right. On a brioche bun. A brioche. A brioche. One love. One love, Canes. And uh, yeah, that's all we got. Sorry, that was a really long tangent. We're at four <laughs> minutes. All right. Yeah. All right, YouTubes. We're at Stu's. And he's yelling at his TV about a game from 25 years ago. It was, yeah, it was Sid Bream. It was the Pirates and Braves when the, uh, oh, it's like my ex-girlfriend's on this. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> but yeah, the Pirates lost. Sid Bream was running home. From where? Where was he running home from? From third base. <laughs> oh, that's a bar in Avon Lake. He used to play for the Pirates. It's called third base, base your last stop before home. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. I know, right? All right, we're gonna we're gonna clean up and well, actually, it's actually super clean in here. Just move his work products. Yeah. And uh, my Wow cable. We're gonna. We're if gonna... you guys need reliable internet service in the meantime, it's two one six two one nine zero one seven zero. Boom. And uh, but we did find again the aloe vera, and this. You know, I don't have everything. I'm gonna put the recipe. Oh, I didn't even film what I was doing there. The actual recipe, you also want to add glycerol. So I'm going to put those directions down below. Um, if I remember to, if not, just comment and say, hey, where are the directions? Because the glycerol helps still keep your hands moist after you use the rubbing alcohol and the aloe. Because it will dry out your hands if you just use the two products. Um, this is an Ikea table. No, it's an Ikea table made by you. There's a difference. No, no, they didn't give <laughs> Actually, there was everything on it. It did not let, and even the showroom table. Oh, it shook too? Yeah, it so shook So I'm glad too. you bought it after you shook the showroom table. I did. I I, did. It, it was like perfect because there were adjustable legs on the bottom. Stu, and I was trying to figure it out. It's just not screwed in. Because you can't put them in that much. If you put it in more, it's going through the top of the wood. Or you use the wrong screws. No, that's the screws that came with it. So you need more washers or bigger separators. Yeah. Oh, hi, Stu. We need Justin. <laughs> yeah, where's Justin? Justin? Yeah, Justin, as long as he makes his table where it's not... Actually, you know what we could use? I have wood shims. You could just stick some shims in the top. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, that would work, too. Yeah, that's like a dollar twenty for 20 of them. Yeah, that, that honestly... And that's, that's all like, you need. Why did I even think of it? You could just kind of place it right over here, and then it's fine. Right inside the gap in there, yeah. Yeah. All right, YouTubes, now we're going to get onto it. There was another tw two minutes of nonsense. <laughs> Well, you could write in the bottle what it is. Okay. All right. So, the ratio is three to one alcohol to aloe gel. Uh, again, you do want glycerol, but we don't have it. Or essential <laughs> oils. Because I thought about this while we were out already, so I didn't even know if we'd actually be doing it tonight or what. You could mix it in afterwards, can't you? Like when you bring it home? You could. You'd have to do it individual per bottle, though, because we're going to divide it up. You know oh, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So... And then, of course, I left one of the other bottles because these I kind of like these better. Well, let's let's set this down because it has the flip open top, so it's like uh, a yeah type bottle. But these are nice, like around the house. But this one's broken. Look at this, a dollar, oh, no. a dollar fifty. That's why I hate Giant Eagle. But it looks like it still work, right? Maybe. I would think so. We'll find out. We just bought them because we decided to do this and probably wasted money as opposed to waiting a couple days and getting better bottles. But <laughs> it's all right. These things happen. Let's see how this looks. Even... Oh, maybe we can go this way. Hold on. 
We're trying this out, YouTubes. Maybe we need to move further back. Let's see. This video is no way endorsed or brought to you by any particular company. <laughs> These are just the products we found. All right. So, technically, as opposed to having the eight ounce or what, 12 ounces that I thought we'd have because the other bottle's downstairs. We have nine ounces because they're three ounce travel containers. So oh. technically you could probably get away with these, taking these on an airplane. Although I doubt you're probably flying right now. So, we this is the random isopropyl we found in an end Oh camp. yeah, yeah. At what, Drug Mart? Yeah. Our, our Mart of Drug. Our Mart of Drug. Our drug of choice is the Mart. <laughs> and Not with the it, K. a shot glass is two ounces, right? But that's like a... That's oh, like a, a double? Yeah, yeah that's more a than a shot. Single to here. It's probably a single to there, yeah. Do you have another shot glass? Like a smaller one? I don't know. I don't think I have a real shot glass that actually... Alright, you take the first shot. <laughs> okay. Okay, it got out of the... Uh... Alexa, how many ounces are in a shot? One shot is 1.5 ounces. Oh, so I was off by half an ounce. Or point, yeah, half an ounce. Yeah. Oh, well, like, this might be more, but again, you can still save what's in the bowl to use for later. Because <laughs> it's the same ratio. <laughs> That's awesome right there. That's like slime. It's like an ass smear video. <laughs> ASMR, not actual ass. <laughs> it's like something from the Ghostbusters. Plasma. <laughs> Blood. Um, I probably should have thought this ahead. I'm going to use one of your two spoons. Is that Cletus from Dollar General calling? He's like, you better boys better be out of my Dollar General. Maybe we got the wrong stuff again. So we found the pure aloe gel, but it was like the aloe gel to drink. Yeah. That's oh, mixing. mixing. Oh yeah, it just takes a minute. I'll fast forward. Maybe, you know what? We should have gotten, we should have spent the money, gotten that liquid aloe and put it in a friggin' spray bottle. Yeah. Wait a second. If I filled it to there, yeah, and it was how much? How many ounces? One point five ounces. Yeah. So it'd be one, two, three, four point five ounces of alcohol, and point. Or yeah, 1.5 ounce of aloe. How have I just filled up a three ounce bottle and have nothing left? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let me. Get, I, just, I don't want his apartment to smell. Wait. Hold on. Push the table this way. Push it down towards you. Now it's not really going. <laughs> <laughs> See, YouTube, this is what happens when you don't plan things out accordingly. Why does the table rock now, but it wouldn't before? And YouTube, I got my <laughs> sale paper towel. <laughs> well, you know what? This table is now disinfected. All right, YouTubes. So obviously I did not use the right stuff. I wonder if I have anything in my, I don't think I have anything. Look, you've got, You've got three gallons of aloe sitting in your closet. All right, so do not use burn relief gel, YouTubes. But those are the correct amounts of ingredients that you want. So I have the same stuff that you have, okay. apparently. The burn relief gel? Yeah, it's like a cooling. Yeah. I think it's the same type I of stuff. I wonder if it is Is like... this more jelly? It's about the same, yeah. It must be something here that just doesn't work right. 
It has alcohol in it. SD alcohol, whatever that is. I don't think mine has lidocaine. Oh, it. look at that though. Like the gel is sitting in the bottom. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. You're gonna pass out. I know, right? <sighs> hey, you know what? We're disinfected at this point. All right, YouTube. Another failed attempt. I promise the next attempt will work properly. <laughs> Maybe. But I think I'm gonna go back to the other way. Well, I need to do the glycerol because that'll help make it solidified as well. And then uh, the tea tree oil or go with the spray bottle. Because a light mist of the spray on your hands would actually be kind of nice. But this is Stu can at least keep in his car, which he needs with touching and talking to people. And uh, yeah. This just did not mix at all. Put a little bit of that Vaseline in. Right, there you go. <laughs> Rub the Vaseline on it. That's it's getting wild. From his personal collection. <laughs> it's a new smart pump. I don't know about smart pump, because if you look at this, like sometimes they're like, okay, is it good? This is like, oh no. Right, and then it's all over you, like. Yeah, what you want to be, remember you have to go by, you have to find the V. Oh, the V. Right there. You gotta find the V, people. Yeah, cause like, that's where it's coming from, but it's the same. But they say it's a smart pump. So we have to... So I bet a full one of these is an actual 1.25 ounces. Which smells is, good. It does, it's aloe soothe. What if we make our own concoction? What if we added some of that? So it can like, not be as uh, liquidy? Oh wait, this is the broken one. Actually, Stu, it's don't get me wrong. Like glycerin. Here, give me your hand. Oh, that's not too bad. It's not horrible, right? No. Like it's a little watery. Don't yeah, get me no, wrong. Yeah, no, it's not bad. But this one, I wonder if all the good stuff got in there. It's definitely strong. Oh yeah, this is a little. That one's watery. But hey, you know what? Leave it in your car, and if you touch something, you're like, okay, it's there. Right? Yeah. It's something, it'll kill something in emergencies. I think it's killing a lot. It's killing everything. Hands everything. Fall my off. hands fall off, yeah. I killed right. my hands. All right, YouTube, forget this. I'm not even gonna put the recipe down below. I'm gonna, we'll make start another Start from one. scratch. Yeah, we're gonna start from scratch. I, I have the directions, and I thought I had what I needed, the minimum, because it's the aloe, but it's obviously the bird relief gel. Isn't it? I think I'm gonna go back to the, get that $9 for that two gallons of aloe. Yeah, you was, still have to incorporate the car funnel though. I think that's yeah, like... We can't, yeah, whatever you, don't use this on your car now. <laughs> it's filled with alcohol and aloe. My car's not Locked running. Out, yeah. I mean, let's get one of those futuristic cars that runs on pure alcohol. <laughs> All right, YouTubes. Uh, I'm probably gonna hang out with Stu for a little bit. Yes! I promise we won't drink the alcohol. Uh, this alcohol. And, shot, uh, shot, 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 <laughs> shot, shot. Yeah, and hopefully we'll find Justin. We haven't heard from him for like over 24 hours now, I think. Yeah. And, uh, He's ignoring us. He is. And, uh. Um, so his girlfriend. Right? That doesn't live in the US. Um. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna go. Peace. <laughs> That's our virus. That's the crazy, you're patient, I'm scared, 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 I'm scared